No. Oh, mine's nice. My limca. Power soda is obviously Indian for ditch water. Do you like something? I think in order to foster Anglo-British relations, we should adopt their style of driving on the motorway in Britain. I think we should adopt their attitude to most things, actually. Do you think it's a sort of motoring style we could roll out or just immediately do? I think... Why would you not immediately...? I mean, the motorway was built as a sort of free-for-all, wasn't it? Which that is. There can't be a transitional phase, because that would be extremely hazardous. You've got to agree that on a certain night, we go Indian. At then. midnight, yeah. we adopt the Indian style, which is better than ours, and there are no rules. There are no police patrols, no highway wombles, nobody's allowed to close it for any reason. <laughs> it might take some bedding in as an idea. It I might disagree take the with first you. six months, it might be a bit of... Are you well, dead? No, absolutely not. You had no. no bedding in. Are you no. dead? No, I'm not I'm dead. I'm not and dead. And also, I think I've actually maintained overall a reasonable speed. I bet your average speed is as good as it is on the M1. No, it isn't. Well, on the M1, yes, because yeah. the M1's rubbish. But the M1's rubbish because they've coned it off. They wouldn't cone it off. They have cone road They use off. rocks instead of cones, I've noticed. I and saw we... another lorry broken down, rocks round it. Rocks round it, so that bursts your tyre. What's the expected effect of that? It's to warn you that there's a lorry ahead. I mean, they only put the rock a yard away, I've noticed that. Yeah, so basically what you do is have a crash with a rock very close to a broken yeah. down lorry. The idea that you see the rock, but not the massive lorry. They also put a branch sometimes on yes. the back of it. But <laughs> well, that's just courtesy. It's nice. We're not talking about courtesy. <coughs> I'm talking about a road network where, admittedly, quite a few hundred thousand people are killed. That is a drawback but it's so much more fun to drive on them. I'm not sure that hundreds of thousands of people would be killed. I think if you combined Indian driving techniques but with a modern infrastructure, you'd be perfectly OK. I've driven many, many miles on British motorways. You never see a car coming the other way. No. And what I really liked was the last chap I saw just a couple of miles back was flashing his lights and pipping his horn at me. Indignant. How dare I be coming the other way when I was on the right side of the road? On the lights flashing issue, that's part of a whole thing I was worried about because I'd been told, you know, if you flash your lights in oncoming traffic, that doesn't mean you can overtake. It means I'm going to overtake. Yes. Stay in. Same with the indicators. A right-hand indicator doesn't mean I'm overtaking, it means you can. Yeah. And I thought there'd be like a real language <coughs> difficulty. There isn't a language, though, is it? There don't, it doesn't, there's nothing, nothing means it's anything. A, you can it's do all instinctive after yes, 10 yeah. minutes. I was going to suggest that we stood here and tried to teach them how to drive properly, but actually it's the other way around. We need to go home with this attitude. On the night when we decide we will make the change to Indian driving, as you say, it's probably midnight, there needs to be blanket radio announcements, because anyone who's on the motorway and has forgot... Oh, you'd it's get a surprise, be... wouldn't no, but then maybe they... that's just tough. <laughs> there has to be sacrifices. It's a bit like digital analogue. You've yeah. been told, you were warned, yeah. now you're dead. No, thank you. His teeth... is that his teeth white? Well,